Mariupol, the southeastern city in the restive Donetsk region, some 700 kilometers from the capital Kiev, and has been one of the hotbeds of anti-government unrest for months. Locals say tires are burning in the city centre and an armoured vehicle has been set on fire. And this after more than 20 people were killed in the city on Friday. According to Ukraine's interior ministry, local self-defence groups put the number of dead at 10. Violence erupted after the army entered the city and stormed the local police HQ that was being held by anti-government activists. Locals were holding a Victory Day march to the centre and the crowd rushed to the scene in a bid to stop the assault. And a warning, you might find the following footage disturbing. So, we can hear gunshots and a man falls to the ground. He manages to sit up as soldiers are leaving the scene. Another shot and a second man appears to be hit. Bystanders rush towards him to help as, as he lies on the ground. And here's the same scene from another angle. You can see troops firing in the direction of people in the street. And then a few moments later, it looks like a third man is hurt too and is held by others. The Ukrainian Interior Ministry claims though that those who died are from self-defense groups and were killed while trying to storm the local police headquarters. One lawmaker and presidential candidate has called on everyone inside the building to be killed as a lesson to the rest of the protesters. So, and here a woman shouts at troops asking them to stop shooting at unarmed people. Those in black uniforms are believed to be from Ukraine's National Guard. Special units formed to take on pro autonomy protesters in the southeast. Grant Phillips reports from Mariupol City Hospital for us. So, I'm here in one of the hospitals in the city of Mariupol, which has today seen what looks set to be the highest fatality number yet in the situation in the east of Ukraine. And it started when we had a large crowd turn out to commemorate Victory Day, and 10,000 turn out in the centre of the city to peacefully mark. We had parades and we had speeches at that time, and completely unexpected, the Ukrainian army entered the city. Now, they did so very quickly, they did so on military vehicles, and we have reports of them opening fire on buildings, opening fire on cars as they made for this government building in the center of the city. They committed a massacre in the city center. Civilians were caught up in this meat grinder, locals who were taking part in a peaceful march. There are lots of injured and dead. I personally saw two people killed. The city and this government building has been in the hands of pro-referendum activists for around three weeks now. Now, earlier in the week, the Ukrainian army mounted an action on it as part of what Interior Minister Arsen Avakov has referred to as the next stage of this counter-terrorism, as he refers to the operation. And they did retake it from these pro-referendum forces. However, the pro-referendum forces then took it back. And then today, the Ukrainian army entered the city. They made for that building. We had seen a fierce fighting there between members of the self-defense and the Ukrainian army. The Ukrainian army took that building and what they then did, as reported to me, was position snipers on the roof who fired down both in self-defense and civilians. Now we do have an immediate figure of 20 fatalities, however, as reported to me here by a doctor unofficially. The real figure is far in excess of that and what looks set to be the day of the highest fatalities yet in the situation in the east of Ukraine, now described by many as a civil war. This is Graham Phillips here with RT. A cameraman working for RT's video agency Rutley was one of the people wounded in Mariupol. He was shot in the stomach despite wearing a bulletproof vest. Doctors say he's in critical but stable condition. And we caught up with a man who saw the incident firsthand. He asked us to hide his identity for safety reasons. Your correspondent was showing the armed people in mass that he was unarmed, trying to convince them that he was a journalist, that he was a member of the press. Then he suddenly decided to run across the street where we're on. A shot was heard and he fell down.